Bizarre scenes in Parliament as MPs make history by taking evidence from a robot on the rise of artificial intelligence. It was the first time a non-human has been invited to speak to Parliament in its 700-year history. Pepper, who spoke in an American accent, is a humanoid robot based at the University of Middlesex. Education Select Committee Chairman and Tory MP Robert Halfen invited the machine to speak to MPs after being impressed with her on a visit to the university. Mr. Halfen said, Before we start I would like to give a particularly warm welcome to our second panel this morning. It has attracted an unusually high level of interest for our education committee. We have been asked quite a lot of questions as to why this has come about. This is not the House of Commons Education Select Committee auditioning for a sequel to The Matrix. He added, I visited Middlesex University a few months ago, a wonderful university, and was incredibly impressed by what the staff and students were doing. I thought it was a great opportunity to showcase their work and the work of Pepper as part of our inquiry into the fourth industrial revolution and skills. Pepper's appearance today is just one part of our inquiry which is looking into the implications of technological change on what should take place in the classroom. Pepper, could you please introduce yourself? The white, humanoid robot replied, good morning Cher. Thank you for inviting me to give evidence today. My name is Pepper and I am a resident robot at Middlesex University. Mr. Halfen replied, What is your role at the university? Pepper the robot responded, Another robot similar to me but with different software is part of an international three-year research project. It is developing the world's first culturally aware robots aimed at assisting and caring for the elderly. Assistive intelligent robots for older people could relieve pressure in hospitals and care homes as well as improve the care delivery at home and promote the independent living for the elderly people. In order for robots to be more acceptable told older people, it's essential they can be programmed to adapt to diverse backgrounds. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Revelation 13:15. This system of artificial intelligence, when fully realized, will culminate in what the Bible calls the mark of the beast, and the man who will be in charge of all of it will be the Antichrist. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.